Memorial Elementary School in Hanover Township held a competition today in an effort to get students excited about the PSSAs next week. The standardized tests are back to normal this year after delays and cancellations due to the pandemic. Newswatch 16's Claire Alfrey joins students and teachers for their annual tradition, PSSA Jeopardy. The auditorium in Memorial Elementary School was filled with students cheering. Believe it or not, they're preparing for standardized testing. This is the first time since the pandemic began that the PSSAs are back to normal, allowing the elementary school to host one of its favorite traditions, PSSA Jeopardy. A big part of the year now since COVID is getting the kids motivated to want to try to do the work and they don't think they can do it. So when they start getting them right, they start getting excited and it was a lot of excitement. I think it was good. I really do. Fourth and fifth grade students competed as teams of seven, answering PSSA practice questions in the Jeopardy format. You're learning a lot of stuff in the school year and you could feel confident about winning on the test. The winning teams then went head to head during a school wide assembly. It was a close one, but the fourth graders beat the fifth graders and won a pizza party. Most importantly, all students gained confidence for the following week of testing. Even though we didn't end up winning, it was still really fun to watch the two teams play off against each other. Are you ready for the PSSAs? Yes. Math coach Terry Dravage helps organize the event and says this is a fun way to prepare the students for the PSSAs. Well, we're trying to teach them that they're showing what they know and not to be worried if they don't get a right answer, but to try and not to be down that you don't think you're going to get any right. Because some of the questions are difficult, so we're trying to get them to do the ones you know and feel good about the ones that you did know. Students are already looking forward to PSSA Jeopardy next year. Claire Alfrey, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.